What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Colonel Ross from Brawl Stars. Let's get started by drawing the nose in the center of our page. So we start on the left side, we draw a curve that goes up the middle and then back down on the right. And then from the ends, we're gonna angle down and in towards the center, in a straight line. Let's fill the inside of the nose in black. And now we're going to draw on the side of the muzzle. Let's start from the left side of the nose. We're just going to curve this out and then down. Go over towards the right and do the same thing. Just bring that down towards the same height. Let's round out the bottom of the muzzle, starting back on the left. Round this out and come up on the inside. And we'll pull this up and in just underneath the tip of the nose. We'll go up and bend that in. Let's add the chin in between the muzzle, starting on the left, come down, and then bend that up. Now we're going to move up and draw the bottom edge of the hat. We're going to line up with the outside of the muzzle, step up, draw a curve, going up, and then we'll bend that down on the right side. And then from the end, draw a straight line going up, and we'll connect the top with a curve that goes a little bit higher in the middle. So we're going to go up round this out, and then come down. Let's go back to the bottom corner of the hat, step in, draw a straight line, coming down in behind the muzzle. Let's go back to the left side, step down, draw a large half circle. We'll go out, down, and then in towards the side of the head. Now we're going to add a trim along the top of the hat brim. On the left, step down, curve up, and then back down on the right side. Let's layer the left eye underneath the hat brim. Right at the top, it's going to angle down and in, aiming towards the nose. Now we're going to draw a half circle. We're going to come down, around, and then back up underneath the hat brim. And then on the inside of the eye, draw a thin oval, coming down and up for the pupil. And we'll fill that in black. Let's move over towards the right and draw on the eye patch. Starting from the top, we curve this down, in towards the nose, round up the bottom, and then go up on the outside. And then we'll add a large X in the center. Starting from the bottom, start with a point, and go down and out towards the left and right. Flatten off the ends with a short line going up towards the side. I'm just going to pull that back in. Going in and up. And go up and out underneath the hat brim. Let's fill the outside area in black. Let's go all the way up to the top and add that crest. We're gonna start over on the left side, add a curve going up, and then back down. Now from the ends, we're gonna curve down and in towards the center, just on top of the half brim. Let's trace out the inside, starting back on the left, all that same curve going across towards the right. And then from the ends, we're gonna draw a short curve coming in, and then we'll add a small half circle. Coming in and then back out. Let's pull this down and in towards the middle. Let's add the wings on the side. From the top corner, step down, angle up and out. And then from the ends, we're going to come down, round at the bottom, and then pull that up in behind the crest. Let's separate the wings with two angled lines. Starting from the top, come down and in, draw that twice. Now let's draw the outside of the hat. From the top of the crest, we're going to step up, it's going to work in the left side. We're going to go out, 
round out the hat, and I'm just going to pull that back in towards the side. Let's go back up to the top and do the same thing on the right. Going across, down, and then we'll bend that in. Now we're going to move down and draw on the side of the body. Start underneath the muzzle on the left, curve the body going out and down towards the hip. Go to the right side and do the same thing. And then we'll connect the hips with a curve, coming down and then up. Let's go back to the left side, step up and just follow that same curve to the top edge of the belt. And then we'll add the buckle, leaving a gap in the center. Let's go to the left side, curve down and in towards the middle, move over towards the right, come down and then in. And I'll trace that buckle along the inside. Now we're going to add some detail to the body. Let's start with the collar. Starting from the inside edge of the right muzzle, angle down and out towards the left, and then come straight down towards the belt. Now I'm going to leave a gap in the middle, go to the right side, draw a straight line going up, step out, and draw that twice. And they'll trace this flap along the outside, stepping up, angle down towards the left, and then come straight down. Let's draw on the left collar, stepping over, draw a straight line coming down, angle up and out, and then from the inside, step out and draw another line. Let's add a small button on the collar, starting on the left, draw a small half circle, and the same thing on the right. And then from the inside of the flap, draw another circle. Let's add a simple logo on the right side. From the bottom, we're going to curve up and then down. Draw two short lines coming down towards the bottom. Close off the bottom with that same curve. And then from the outside, curve out and then in. Go back to the left, go around and then down in the center. Let's go back out to the hips and draw the bottom of the coat. Starting on the left, angle down and out towards the side. Connect the bottom with a curve, coming down and then up. Let's go over toward the left side, draw two straight angle lines coming down. I'm also going to add that same size button along the bottom. Now we tuck the legs in underneath the coat, leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, Curve the leg going out and down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and then down towards the same height. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting on the left, curve down and then up. Let's go back to the left side and round out the top of the foot. Start out here, curve up. It's going to bend this down, aiming towards the heel, leaving a gap on the inside. And then from the bottom corners of the coat, step in, curve the leg going out and down on top of the foot. Let's add the edge of the boot. From the top of the foot, we'll step up, curve down and then up. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the arms. Let's start with the shoulders. From the top of the body, we're going to step down, draw a straight line going all the way out. Line this up on the right side straight up along the side of the shoulder and then pull that back in towards the side of the muzzle. And we'll fold the arms in behind the body. From the outside corner of the shoulder, step in, curve out, and then down towards the elbow. And we'll curve the arm coming down and in towards the side of the body. Let's go halfway between the bottom of the shoulder and the bottom of the arm. So right here we're going to add a fold. Going across and then down, aiming towards the elbow. Let's go back to the inside, curve out and then down. Now we're going to move back up and draw the ears coming down and then back in behind the arms. Let's start on the left side. Start with a curve coming down, bending that out. Go over towards the right. We'll do the same thing. I'm just going to round up the ear and pull that back in towards the side of the arm. Let's draw the inside edge of the ear. On the left, step in. I'm just going to follow that same curve. Coming down and then out. 
and then round this out, and then pull that back in towards the side of the arm. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Coming down and out, rounding up the ear, and then pulling that in. And that's pretty much it. There's Colonel Ruffs from Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.